What's up party people and what's up mom? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Jen and I'm a full-time reseller online and I've been gone for a while. <laughs> um, I kind of wanted to chat with you guys, give you a little update, what I've been doing, where I've been, but I also have a good old men's haul for you. Um, so I haven't obviously posted in a while. Uh, it's summertime been busy having fun and doing all the things um, my last video was like a cute little 10 year anniversary video my boyfriend and I celebrated 10 years we went to Cancun that was fun um, we came back we've been camping we're going camping all the time um, and we're doing fun things so I actually started a second YouTube channel which I will link down below if you guys are interested in following me and my family around um, on our camping adventures that would be cool it's Salt City Adventures we go camping all the time all summer long all of the time so I figured why not document it and what got me into that was Courtney common tags uh, her City Girl Unplugged channel. I love watching that and I do a lot of the same things um, so I figured why not document it. Um, and I'll leave Courtney's second channel down below as well and her first one just because she's amazing. <laughs> um, anyways what else? Oh I boyfriend's work schedule got all messed up like he had to well his night guy went on vacation so Jeremy's been having to work nights. So I went to the bins for the first time in I don't know how long at night. They didn't do any rotations. I went from like six to eight. They close at eight. Zero rotations. So I didn't get a whole lot. Um, but I did get some stuff. I actually went two nights in a row. And it's not a lot, so I'm gonna show you both of them. Um, Blush dump in. I don't. I think I covered everything I wanted to talk about, but if not, it'll pop in eventually. First night that I went, I got 36 pounds, which is actually pretty good. A dollar 49 per pound. I spent 53 dollars and 64 cents on the first night, and that's no rotation. So let's start with the shoes, as per usual. I love my boots. These are Ariat boots. Ariat. I don't know if you're going to be able to see in there. You'll just have to trust me. And they're a size 9. They're my size, but I already have a bunch of cowgirl boots that just sit in my closet. But I love selling, selling Ariat boots. These boots, look, look at the detail. Beautiful red leather, beautiful brown embroidery. These retail for close to $200 new, and I sell them, I guess, depending on condition. These ones I'm going to obviously put Dr. Martin's Wonder Balls on. It has a little nick in the leather. Here's the other one. This one has a nick right here. Um, but these will still sell for at least 50 bucks, and that'll almost pay for my whole haul. Size 9. Okay, these I still need to look into. I got them based off of style. So it's leather here and suede here and it doesn't have a tongue like here. So that's interesting, but the inside is fleece lined or lined. This is called Brilliant Waterproof. I did try and Google it while I was there nothing really came up these are a six and a half but if these aren't worth anything then I can give them to a buy sell trade store I just thought they were so cute and they're in good shape so why not okay fall is coming up so pick up your ankle boots these ones are just Sam Edelman I think these are also a size nine uh, yes Look at the bottoms they're like worn a couple of times maybe um anyways so these are suede leather ankle boots um 
I'm probably gonna send these to thread up to be honest or flip I need to do a video on flip because I've been I've been using it and it's been it's been going but anyway there's those and the kids are almost back to school so that's amazing I can't wait actually <laughs> oh and I'm rocking my natural hair anyways next up are these born they're like brand new well not brand new they're just in good condition they're a loafer with this horse bit detail really pretty brown leather these thread up probably I don't know I can't decide these for sure thread up these are Cole Haan and they're just sweet so oh there's something in here oh it's a stinky shoe <laughs> Ew. <laughs> it doesn't stink, but I shouldn't have done that. It's a stinky shoe deodorizer. There's not one in here. It must have fell out. Anyways, <laughs> are just a suede quilted boot size. Um, here it is. Nine. They're all a size nine. Oh, except for those six and a half what size are these I didn't even tell you eight and a half okay and these are the big big mamma jamma for the bins so um these are snow boots Vibram soles snow boots it says deluxe there and then on the inside it says Spark, and then it's a size 10 men's anyways I looked these up and these are selling right now in July for a hundred dollars <laughs> um, so that's exciting I don't know much about snow like this I thought was honestly um, snowboarding and it could be boot I have no idea but Utah has all type of outdoor stuff so that's what I kind of focus on um, because it's readily available here it is I should probably learn about it more but they're in great shape so oh you know what I'm just noticing that this is a little short it's cut off huh <sighs> maybe that's why it just sat there we'll see we'll see what I can do to get these listed and get them sold. I'll have to look into that. Okay. That one's down. Let's do my little bra bag that has a pair of pants in it. So these I found when I was on my way to cash out. These are just Gap, but these are my size, even in the tall version. So they're just a high rise skinny jean with a little fray at the end. I haven't even tried these on, but they feel like they haven't even been washed yet. They feel brand new. And they're a little, they're stretchy, so they're comfy. And yeah, those are for me. I did a lot of back to school shopping in this. A uh, couple of things. So anyways, this one's a pink Victoria's Secret. Looks like a bralette that clasps in the front yes this is what it looks like cute little gray bralette this is a 32b and I have been selling the bras it's been wild they sell for like 20 I list them for around 25 and then um, my posher VA sends out offers so they end up selling for like 22 bucks and they weigh almost nothing. So that's exciting. Here's another one. This one is Victoria's Secret, size 36B. This one has underwire. It has padding as well, but great shape. It's not a bombshell, which I just sold the bombshell bras bundle for 54 bucks. This one is a maternity bra. The last one I, that I thought was was not 
This is motherhood maternity size 42D and it has the clasp here so you can easy access there. And it's in great shape. These cups just need a little bit of love, which I'll give to them. This one is looks like that. It's Wacol 34D. And I like Wacol. Oh, it looks like it's a convertible. So the straps come out on both sides. So you can do like a crisscross back or whatever you want. Um, I forgot what I was saying. Something about Wacol. Oh, Wacol has style numbers. Makes it easy to look up. Look at this big guy. <laughs> It's a big sports bra. It's no name, but it ha it's new with tags with a $44 price on it. Style 761 USA size 50F. Oh, it's classic. It says right there. Classic. So that's what it is. And these big size bras go so fast. Here's the last bra. This one is also new with tags. Oh, this one's for me. <laughs> this one's for me. It's my size. And I don't think you care to know what my size is, but this is it. And that's for me. <laughs> Two for me. Okay. Moving right along. I got a vintage item. We'll start with that. It's neon. See, what does that say? Cotton tops, 100% cotton size large, crafted with pride in the USA. It has this cute little built-in collar. Anyways, and it's a Montana seeing at its finest. And then here, if you can read that, it says 1990. 1990, that's when my little brother was born. I was two years old in 1990. So that was cool. I like the color. The um, teal is still very vibrant and is very comfy, like cotton. I liked it. This is American Eagle, size large. This is just a chunky cropped cardigan. This one I think came out in 2019. Yes, May 2019. Grab that one. This is Postmark Anthropology, size large. And it's just like a tunic or a mini dress. It, would, it could be a mini dress. Could be. Cute. Some men's Lucky Brand jeans. These are the 410 Athletic Fit. Uh, size 3632 dark wash these ones also feel like they haven't been washed in great condition oh I want to see if my nephew wants this this is Adidas um, size 1012 it's not that big but it looks brand new Got thumb holes. Yeah. Got it for him. This has candy stuck on the back, so that's fun. Hopefully, it'll come off in the wash. This is just Mountain Hardware, size large, just a lightweight hoodie, like a running. This would be perfect for running. It has a pocket on the back here so I wonder if that's like if that's the candy but put your key in there go running none of this has been washed obviously it's still in the Ikea bags this is theory size medium and it's just a black cardigan mm-hmm mm-hmm Oh, when I got this, I felt like hope. Rex to Rich's resale, because she's like all about the Christmas sweaters. 
And this one was, it's Metal Militia. <laughs> that's different. I don't know if that's still a thing, Metal Militia. It's a size medium, women's Metal Militia Christmas hoodie or sweater with skulls on it. Festive. Okay. This is Meadwell, size small. This might go to my daughter for back to school. It has little lavender there. It says lavender. Yeah, just a stripe, basic. She doesn't want it and then I'll sell it. This, oh, it's Patagonia, size extra small. It's a Capilene base layer. So you couldn't really tell unless you, you know, know your Patagucci or you're looking at the tags. Most of the people that were there that late were shopping for themselves. They weren't resellers that I could tell. Anyway, they're just like high school kids, college kids, shopping there with their friends for themselves. Here's another Patagonia. Size small. And this one's a one that you can't really tell because it says Patagonia on the pocket. Which one? This one. You can't really tell unless you're really looking. But it's a fleecy full zip jacket. Nothing too crazy. This I got because flannel season is coming and you got to be prepared. This is American Eagle size medium boyfriend fit. If this was a smaller and extra small, I would not have grabbed it. Um, I really like the colors. Those are perfect colors for fall. If this was a larger and extra large, I'd probably keep it. Just a cute flannel. Um, this was a Lululemon and it's just a white t-shirt with this simple semi sheer bottom but then it crisscrosses and opens in the back you know I haven't found um, the size so I'll just have to measure it but I'm thinking it's like a medium or an oversized small or a tight large <laughs> depends on how you like it but I need to look into it more and see if I can find a size tag um, oh my gosh, you guys, Halloween, I need to get this listed squad. <laughs> I don't know who sold this celebrity style made with love and Egyptian cotton size small. I don't know where this was sold, but I was not leaving it there. Squad and it has, you know, Michael Myers, Jason. Freddy Krueger. I don't know who this guy is. Do I? What's his name? I don't know. I know. No, I don't. I'm not a really big, like, scary movie fan. I get scared easily, but murder mystery, I'm all about. Okay, this I got for my daughter. Uh, it's just H&M, size small. It's just a cute long sleeve shirt basically i liked it i figured she would too this one was ba as well to infinity and beyond toy story buzz light gear it's like a vintage style but i don't think it is vintage at all it's a size large cotton polyester how cool is that i could not leave it there Okay, here's some jeans, American Eagle. These are 32, 34 skinny. I think these are men's. What is this? Oh, just a sticker. 32, 34 men's. I'm pretty sure. Who knows? Not me. These came out in October 2018, so a little older, but still relevant. 
let's see, I got a coat that I need to do more research on. But it's such a nice coat that if it doesn't sell well, I'll keep it. I really like the color, first off. And it's my size, large, which I need at least a large in coats because of my freakishly long arms. But this is the brand, it's called Holden. I have no idea. I feel like when I did some research, I think it's a Colorado brand. I could be totally lying though. But this is such a cute coat. And I did pay up for it because it's a little heavy. It's a coat. But look, it has a leather trim zipper, like pocket. So like that's nice quality. It's a wool upper because I can feel it. Like skin doesn't like wool, but I liked it. This is also for autumn. It just says love. Basic pink shirt. Uh, this is cool size medium. Just a basic shirt. Long sleeve. Won't go for a lot. Like 20 bucks. 18 to 20 bucks. But it'll go. Here is, what is this? Oh. I forget because this has been a couple of nights ago. It's Friday today. I went Monday, Tuesday. So this is a Solomon size small like a rain jacket, very lightweight rain jacket or a running jacket. I'm not sure. It's kind of long and it has like the inside is peeling a little bit. Just a little bit, not too bad. But yeah, a little, uh, what does it say? Climb up pro. Yeah, Solomon. I like their shoes, why not try their jackets? This one's for Kayan, back to school, no boundaries, Walmart, but he lives in joggers, joggers in gym shorts. So if I can find him a jogger at the bins, great. This one's for me, I don't know what this is. Excuse me, I have to be awesome, size large. It's a fleece lined short sleeve shirt. This is so me. And it'll be warm because I'm cold all the time. So that's for me. Okay, so that was the first day that I went to the bins. That's all I got for the 5364. Awesome. Next bins day was uh, nine pounds. And then one thing for $5 extra. And that one thing is outside. But I'll just tell you what it is. It's um, like a little pedestal thing that you put together made out of plastic. It's for like camping. So you can stand on it and rinse off or rinse the dog down or wash your feet off. So you're not like standing in mud when you're trying to clean yourself off. Anyway, that's what it was. It was new in the box, five bucks, grabbed it. Nine bucks or nine pounds at $1.69 per pound. I spent 2020 on this stuff. I'll start with this. And again, there was kids that are shopping for themselves. The North Face, size small. It's men's, size small. Um, this is one of the ones that goes into a bigger coat, like a exchangeable thing. But it's a dark gray. jacket and the bin okay here's um oh champion this is the university of utah i already sold my other one um this is a size large football season's coming up in august and i think this is a women's no it could be a men's but it's a university of utah utah utes and this is like brand new. It has these little barbs coming out of it. <laughs> Unless somebody wore it like that. But it doesn't feel like it's been heavily used. There's the Champion logo. And this should go pretty quickly. Probably locally by Sell Trade Store. 
this is the last thing I grabbed before I left and I'm almost, I'm 50 50 on it so it's J Crew collection so it's the expensive J Crew if you can read collection there it is size medium I think this is a men's full zip merino wool jacket it's like ribbed but the issue is the inside tag has been taken out so I don't know any information on it other than it's J Crew collection, probably like $200 retail, something crazy. Maybe I'll use Google Lens to try and figure out what it is. Oh my gosh, I forgot about these. So my friend had a baby in April, a little girl, Ansley, and I found these. These are all six months. So here's like a cute little polka dot one, a cute Nike one. A little peach one oh and then another Nike one so I got those for Ansley so cute okay oh I got a CD I haven't got a CD in a while Motley Crue oh my gosh I've actually been to Motley Crue uh, concert multiple times um, I believe they came with for my 21st birthday I went and saw Def Leppard no, Motley Crue wouldn't have come with them. I think it was like Cheap Trick or something. But I will actually enjoy this CD. And I have listened to the other CDs um, that I got that I had no idea <laughs> where. And some of them are good, some of them are questionable, but I will be jamming to Motley Crue. Put that in the car. Here's another back to school, another H&M jacket my daughter's always cold as well so any and every jacket she will wear this oh I got because it was linen and plus size it's Tahari size 3x linen this is gonna go to thread up it's just a basic top but this will probably sell for like I don't know 30 bucks a thread up this, oh, <laughs> I got this. It's Banana Republic size large. I might wear it, I don't know, but I got it based off of style. It says, pardon my French, with a little Frenchie. It is cute, it has a little like roll sleeves, boxy. I just liked it, so you know me. Um, some pants for my daughter, here we go. American Eagle, there are the high-rise jegging and a double zero. Oh, this one's a zero. She, she's a double zero or a zero. But these were really cute, these khaki or khaki green, kind of like, um, what is this called? Camo style, not camo, cargo skinnies. I know that skinnies are out and she thinks she's fashionable, but she'll wear these. I got this because it was new with tags. It'll go spread up. It's Alfani, size large, $69.50. This is perfect for Christmas time. It's Christmas tree color sweater. This is really cute. Banana Republic, the Dylan shirt, size large button down long sleeve top I like the pattern on it that's why I got it it'll be like $20 it has this really cute cuff though if you can see like the ruffling here so cute this is Venus which I don't like to sell myself anymore it's a size 8 so this will go to thread up and I think it's a swim cover up it's a cute little paisley print or it's a little mini dress, who knows? But, Venus. Oh, I got this for me. It's a Utah Jazz <laughs> shirt. I kind of want to crop it. It's kind of, well, maybe not. Maybe I won't. But it kind of has a vintage vibe. It's definitely not vintage. But, yeah. I actually haven't watched the Jazz in a really long time. I haven't watched the Jazz since like the 90s or early 2000s, to be honest. One last thing, and then we're done. No shoes on this trip. This one's Outdoor Voices. 
It doesn't have a size, but I'm going to tell you that it's a size small. And they're just running shorts. I love these type of shorts. I'll just list measurements. They have, oh, right here. Mm, what's the style? RN. Yeah. No, it doesn't say the size. It's been rubbed off. But I'll figure it out. Do measurements and list them. Easy peasy. Well, that's it for my collective bins haul. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Don't forget to stay weird. Bye guys.